I have a business requirement like this. Where it says, if city equal to water bag, update the field. Status as check. If city equal to Bangalore, update the status as City equal to Chennai. Update the status as. Now I have this requirement. If city equal to Adabai, status should be approved. City equal to Bangalore, status should be rejected. City equal to Chennai, status should be ready. How will you achieve this using a workflow rule and approval process? How will you achieve it using a workflow rule and approval process? If you want to achieve the same using a workflow rule and approval process, how will you achieve it? How will you achieve it? The first is, I have to create workflow rule number one. Condition city equal to Adabai. Field of related action, status equal to approved. Workflow number two, create a condition city equal to Bangalore. Field of update action rejected. Workflow number three, city equal to Chennai. Field of update action. So you are supposed to build three routes. Number eight. But process builder, we can create them like a flow in a single step. It's in a single process builder, we can create them like a flow. When you have multiple conditions, multiple okay conditions, multiple criteria, we can do like a flow chart and design in a single process. Here we are building three workflows to achieve the same process. But at the same if I want to build using a process builder, let us see how we can build. Set up. Build. Create. Workflows and approvals. We have, we have process built. <coughs> New process builder. Process name. Lead process. Now it's asking. When the process should evoke, when record changes, or when platform event occurs, event on the pages, invoke by another process, I told record changes. When the record changes, I want this process to be invoked. What was the rule? Add object. Which object you are taking? On the lead object. What was the condition given? What was the condition given? When the new record is created or when new record is? What was the condition? When a new record is created or when a record is created or edited? I told when a new record is created. Give the condition. Then add criteria. When you want the rule to be fired? I told you. When the conditions are met, what is the condition? City equals to if city equals to Hyderabad, what do you want to perform? Action. There are different types of action. In this, we are choosing what? Field update. We are choosing field update. Update record. What is the record type? Record type of the record which started the process. What do you want to update? Let's say rating equal to rating equal to what? Similarly, next if city equal to do this. City not equal to City equal to Bangalore. City equal to Bangalore. 
I am getting multiple rules in a single in a single process. We are having multiple flows. Is it equal to value? Action. What do you want to perform? Record update. What is the record type? Record on which we are working. The same record record type will be used. Grading equal to third condition. City equals to Chennai. Match the part of day. Rating equals to. Now what I have done? Everything I was able to build within a single process. But at the same thing, if I want to build using workflow rules, what I can create? I have to create three workflow rules and create it. But whereas here, I was able to build everything within a single process. I was able to build everything within a single process. So process builder is like a, is like a flow chart. You define the flow chart as for the flow chart automatically the process will build. You can build multiple conditions within a single step. Then activate. Activate. Go to backup. Go to lead. Now I give some data. City. Like a bad. Still. Then what happened? The rating is set as. So what was that? Just like a workflow rule only. The only thing is we are building everything like a flow. We are building everything like a flow. We are building everything like a flow. When we go to the workflow rule, what are the actions we can perform? Our actions are going to be email alert, field update. Or good message task. Similarly, when you go to the process builder, we have different types of action. Let us understand those actions. Set up, build, create, workflows and approach, process builder, already existing. I will deactivate this first. Now, we are trying to create a new process. Record process. When the record changes, the means when the record is created or modified. Then, on which object? Right. On a code object. Criteria. <laughs> now I'm giving condition here. Industry equals to banking. When industry equals to banking, if you want to add multiple condition, you can give. Then what we have action. What are all the actions we can perform? Look at that. I can invoke Apex class from this. Now we can write a logic in the Apex class and we call the class with this. Then we can also create a new record using a workflow rule. Can I create a new record? You cannot create a new record. Whereas here, using a process builder, I can create a new record. We will see the Apex invocation the development. Create a record. Which record you want to create? Opposite. 
whenever the new record is created with index equal to banking, create a new opportunity record. New opportunity record. When opportunity record is created, we are close date equal to name equal to name equal to what I'm doing? Field field reference. What field reference? Account name. If you want to use the record because of which the rule is fired. The record because of which the rule is fired we call as a field reference. Refer to the field of the record. Okay, which is firing this rule. So opportunity equal to account name. Stage equal to prospect. Then you have four cats not required. Right. See. So when a new account is created with index equal to banking, automatically create a new opportunity. Similarly, we are creating add action. What was this? Happens, create a record, we know how to create email alerts. Then flow. Now you are invoking a flow. Again, we see it in the programming. The programming path. Let us go to the post to chart. Post to chart. You are posting a chart message. We want to post a chart message. Where you want to post? You want to post for a particular user or you want to post for a group or you want to post for a record. The message what you want to print, it should be printed for the user or for a group or for a record. I told it should be printed for a user. For which user? Submission. Print the message for a submission. What message? Message of the phone. So we are trying to post the message. So one is create a record, other one is post the message, add one more action. So what are the extra things that you are finding here? Apex, creation of new record, then flows, post a charter, quick action. Quick action. What are the quick actions that we have? Object specific action. Login path. Then activate. So charter message, creation of record, quick action. Charter message, creation of record, quick action. Go back. Echo. New echo. And create a new account. Create a new account. When you create a new account, so right. Go back to the opportunity and see is any opportunity created with the ICAC. Right? New opportunity is created with the ICAC. Closure is 10 days from now. ICAC stage equal to cost. Now we give it to I say it's created today. Created today. Right, boss? New opportunity. <laughs> Similarly, I told post a message. For which user? Satish. For Satish, I told you to post a message. What is that? This is a starter message from ICC. This is a starter message from ICC. Then I told perform a quick action. You go to quick actions. Now I told login call. Where is this login call? Where is that printed? It's printed here. Similarly, it was printed here. You are able to see how many, how many charter calls are created? Two. 
Now the logic call will be printed on this top. Look at the point. Logic call, logic call. But actually, how many calls I created? Only one call. Right now, I created one. I created because of the process printed. So it's a quick action that's printed in the charter message. It's printed in the charter message. Okay. I'll go back once again to get one more example to get the quick idea. So basically, what was that? We are trying to build multiple action using a single flow. Whereas the workflow rules, we are supposed to create one rule, one workflow. For one rule, one workflow rule. Whereas here, we are able to build all of them and build a single process. Whereas the actions are concerned, there are some extra actions what you are finding here. Like a invoking an effects class, invoking a flow, creating a new record, sending the data message, invoking an action, invoking a flows. Okay. All these are some of the additional actions what we have. So let me create one more time. First, I'll create. Let me create. The actions one more time. First, I'm creating a proof process. A proof process. Our opportunity report jump start is up. Condition is met. I can say annual revenue. Opportunity close date demo. Get that. Now I can give no condition because I will define the condition in the process builder only. When our new opportunity is created. Submit the record. We'll send a proof. I send to user. This was the condition. What was the condition? Whenever a new opportunity is created, Submit the record to the user for record. So there is a approval process defined. This approval process, when you submit, the record will be submitted to Wilson for record. Now go back. Now go back to the process builder. Create workflows and approval. Process builder. Then Deactivate this. Now I'm getting a new process. New process button. Opportunity process. Select one when the record changes. Whenever the record changes, you go back. What is the first condition? Choose the object. When a record is created, add a condition. When stage name equal possibility. The stage will be put property. Perform the action. 
what are the actions that we have? Invoking an Apex class, creating a record, email alerts, rows, post to startup, invoke another process, quick action, submit for approval. Quick action. <laughs> What type of action you are giving? Global action. What was that? Global action is create a record or log in. Now let us see. Create a record. New case or a contact, I want to create a contact. What is the action I told? Global action. Create a record. Last name equal to reference. Reference. See reference. Last name equal to opportunities, accounts, opportunities, account name, like a cross object formula, like a cross object formula, opportunities, accounts, name, phone number equal to Accounts, which are we created? Then one action, second action, which action that is it? The second action is. Submit the record for approval. Specific approval process. What is the name of the approval we created? New opportunity flow. Whenever a new record is created, submit the record for the approval process. Skip the entry condition, not required. Who is the submitter? Current user or Field from a record, whoever is the owner of the record is the who is going to be the submitter. User, who is the user? Opportunities. Then let's see. So we are submitting the record for approval process and also we are getting a quick action. One more action. Now tell me what you are not a clear about. Apex is program regular will be saying, flows will be saying program regularly. But a creation of record we are aware about. Email alert, post a message to the starter. Process we will be calling this topic now. Submit quick actions, submit for approval, update the record. So these are the quick actions what we found. So let us see. Let us see. Activate. Confirm. It is also called automated process. New. Now I give. Close check. Password. Account. A new opportunity is created, automatically record is submitted for approval to Wilson. There, we used to manually submit the record. Here, the process itself is submitting. In the regular approval process, what we used to do? What we used to do? We used to submit the record manually. Here, the system is automatically submitting. The only difference is you are supposed to get an approval process, but record is submitted based on process pillar. A approval process is created just like in the previous process only. How you created a approval process earlier? The same. But here, condition 1, submit to this process. Condition 2, submit to this process. Condition 3, submit to this process. Like that, I can create multiple steps in a single form. Then I told, create. I also told, create one contact record. Go back to the contact and see. Look at the form. Today's contact. Give this week. No, this is created. New contact. 
name or a clear what is the process here so tell me what are the actions we can perform using approval process approval process task we'll update or go message then tell me what action we can perform in the workflows task we'll update Board. But when you take a process builder, I can invoke in a text class, I can invoke a flow, I can invoke a flow, I can send an email, I can create a record, take action, I can print a message in the charter, record update, and submit the record file. And invoke another process. These two are programmatical. We will be seeing them further. The development will be seeing. But here we know how to create email templates, send it, how to create a record, quick action, charter, create a record, and update a record, submit the record for it. Now, what is the next one that we have? Process. How to invoke one process from another process? How to invoke one process from another process. If you want to know these, let us go back. Try to invoke one process from another process. Look at the process. New process. Student process. I am saying, it is not when record changes, it is invoked by another process. Don't call when record is changed, call when it is invoked by another process. This has to be invoked by another process. This cannot be directly called, this should be invoked by another process. I am creating an action which should be called by another process. What is the action? Action. Condition. Do you have any condition, specific condition or no condition? I have no condition. Should be automatically it is called before any condition should be performed. So whenever it is called by default, action should be performed. What is the action? Create a record. Branch created. The branch name equal to This is one action. So when you call this action automatically, one new branch will be created with the admin again. Then go back to the new process. Then I'm ready. Then I'm saying it should be invoked when the record changes. Whenever a new record is created or record is modified. This should be invoked. Previous is should be invoked from another process. This is invoked when the record changes. Add an action. Which object you are choosing? Force object. Condition. New criteria. What is the criteria that we have? And fee greater than five thousand. When fee is greater than five thousand, perform the action. What is the action you want to perform? Invoke process. Invoke process. What are the process name we have? Student. Student process. Where? Okay. 
if you want to pass any values, you can pass it here. So pure choice. So let's say x object reference. What are the values we have? Pass any value to the process. What value I want? The row fields there actually. One ID. This condition boss. Huh? You okay process. It's object reference. Why you are getting this as object reference? Do you have any fields in the course? Owner ID. Account ID. Owner ID. ID is agreeing. So let me do one thing. Let me create one more time. Add action. In OK process. My process. Student process. Getting the values actually. Let me check out all the process. What is the process? 12 process I created. So here I have condition. Action. Create a record. Implement. Their customer ID. Suppose to create something which has a relation. 
brand's name and fee. So create a record. The branch. The branch. Branch name equals to. string let us be equals to form block Perform the action, activate with the process. My process is a force proof. Basically, there is no dependency available. Objects, all the objects what I am taking, there is no dependency. So, we have some issue with that. Build from everything boss. We had some issue with the dependency, just I have taken the objects which doesn't have any dependencies, so we have a lot of issue with that. Let me cross check the objects, take parent shell or shell to parent, so that issue will be resolved. The issue here was I have taken a process, I have taken a process where there is no dependency between the objects. That's what is troubling us. Let me cross it. Save it. Now I'm trying to create a new process from beginning. Let us see. Build. Create. Workflows and approvals. Process builder. Able creation. Invoked by another process. Invoked by another process. <coughs> Object. So what is the condition? On customer. When when condition is met, what is the condition we have? Active equals to two. On a customer, when active equals to two, perform an action. What is the action I want to perform? Create a record. What I want to create? Payment record I want to create. So, whenever a customer is created with act equal to create a new payment. Where customer ID equal to field reference. Where customer ID equal to record it. Next, the payment model, other fields we have, any required fields we have. Customer. Payment date, amount and well, mode equal to amount equals to. So, whenever a new customer is created with an active equal to true, then create a new payment. This will be invoked by another process. This cannot be called by itself, it should be invoked by another process. So, now I am creating another process. I created here payment creation new customer automation. 
which should be removed when a new record creates. Whenever a new record is created on a customer object with a condition customer city city equals to item and active equals to true when a new customer is treated with a city equal item and active equals to call the action what is the action you want to call process payment Payment creation reference equal to this. All previously we are not getting this because there is no association between the objects. What I have taken, okay. Save it, activate. So, process calling another process. Go back, go to the customer, new customer. But there should be one field. What is that field? Active. There should be some field active. If there is no active, the rule will not run for us. So you are not able to see the field called active. So what you are supposed to do? You are not able to see a field called active. So we have to Because my flow is running on active only, right? So is running based on active. Go back again. Create new customer. Active. Add a word. Whenever a new customer is created, automatically get a new payment record. Because the payment record, new payment record is created with cash 10,000. Customer name is here. Right, boss? So, this is what? Process invoking another process. Now, the reasons why the previous process failed. It's okay, it's running now fine. But what are the mistakes that I have done in the previous case which I avoided my process? The first mistake I have done is while creating the process, the first mistake I have done is here, the process is running because of what? On a course object, on a course object, when the condition is met, we are supposed to create branch. On a course object, when a condition is running, I was supposed to create a branch. But what is the object I gave here? I straight away gave a branch name called I gave a branch. There's a reason there is no association between the two objects. So basically, I was supposed to select what? This flow should run. This flow should run on the course because the other process is running on what? Course. The main, main process is running on what? When a new course is created, it was supposed to be invoked. But this I told on branch object. That was on course, this was on branch. There is a reason both of them have okay, lost that connectivity. So, there is a first mistake I have done. Then, now I choose the course. The course I told no condition, no problem. No problem. Action. What is the action? Record. Branch. Then stick. But what is the previous one we got here? Here we got reference. S object reference we got. We got S object reference. But I have chosen here as a branch. Now branch to branch there is no reference. There is a reason the ID was keeping increasing. I don't want to keep increasing. The mistake I have done is, was, I want to invoke a process from another process. When you want to invoke a process from another process, both of the process should be defined as the same object.
but I made a mistake of choosing one as a course, other as a branch. Actually, it's creating a branch, but I defined that. I have defined the process on branch object. That is the reason reference field. That is the reason reference field. Second time I created, I created a customer. Second process also I created a customer and told action equal to payment. This is the first mistake I have done. Red box. I hope you got my point. That the, the earlier the process was failed because of the mistake. Now I am giving branch name equal to, let's say, Then I was supposed to create another process. What is that? Course creation. When the record changes, object. Course object. Condition. Greater than. Okay. Perform the action. What is the action? What's the name? Branch. Recently we didn't get that course. Now we got we are we getting an ID, but now, now we are not getting an ID. Look at this, we are getting a course. When I selected this, we are getting a course. Select the course record that you started the process and send it to other process. So this record, the same course record will file other process. So that process of the running on course only. So both are connected. But previous like your branch. Previous like your branch. Because I gave a branch there, because I gave a branch there, now course trying to connect with the branch, both are not, are not connected. Course trying to connect with the branch, but here what? Process 1, another course. This course is invoking another process which is defined on the course. Course is invoking the process 1 which is defined on course, invoking another process which is defined on the course. But previously I defined course invoking a process which was defined on branch. So this is your reference we are getting. Now we resolve it. This is all you want. I hope I am clear with this. Right? Okay. Now what are the actions we can perform? Tell me once again. What are the actions? Creation of FX class. Creation of record. Email alerts. Flows. Okay. Post starter. Process. Quick action. Submit for approval. Record update. Now. Creation of record. Once again I will explain. Course. Let us say. When you want to create, you are giving string field reference. Field reference means like a class object. You want to use the value of when you are trying to create a course, okay, value should be given. Whose values? Are you going to enter the data manually or are you going to take the data from the course? Now I am saying customer name equal to course name. Customer name equal to course name. So straight away you can give or you can refer the reference. Reference means what? Record which invoked this process. Record which invoked this process. That record values can be used again. There is a reference. Field reference. Right away we can give or we can use field reference. What again? What are the actions we can create box? Look at the actions. FX class. Record creation. Email alerts. Flows. Post it data. Process. Quick action. Submit for approval. Update the record. So we have multiple actions. Now tell me what is the advantage of this over the workflow rules? Workflow rule 1, workflow rule 1 condition, one, okay, 1 condition, 1 condition, 1 workflow rule. Here, like a flow chart, you can define multiple conditions. In a single process can have multiple conditions for multiple parts. We can apply multiple flows. In a single flow, we can create a number of subflows. Number of subflows. It has a number of actions. Compared to workflow rule, it has a number of actions. What is one action which is not available in the process builder? Tell me what is that action? Our code message is not there. 
ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಡ್ದೆ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ನಾವು ಹುಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಐತೆ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾರ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಅದರಿಂದ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಬಿಡ ಬಟ್ when all these process builds fired when a record is created record is modified or record is modified to meet the criteria workflow rules also fired when a record is created when record is modified when record is modified to meet the criteria so entry condition entry condition evaluation criteria both are the same there is no difference now what is the difference between workflow rule and process builder workflow rule email and field update or more messages task we have okay what are the what are the actions that we have what rules are going to be email let fill up date order message task press the process builder fx class fx class okay close create a record send a email post a cutter okay do a okay process quick action submit for approval and record update now what is the difference between approval process and process builder approval process we need to manually submit the record for approval there are cr when condition is met we can sub one approval process will have only one entry condition here condition one process one condition two process two condition three process three there approval process cannot call another approval process an approval process cannot call another approval process but i can define it. process can call another process process one call another process process can call another process okay next come back to the next one we have some small points we'll cover those things now we are finding something like quick actions and all those stuff right what are those quick actions and everything you are able to see it post file new task all these are called quick actions all these are called quick actions like we got a four so what is it shall we have a class on sunday now shared shared with my account now the poll is creating a poll taking the opinion from the team members taking the opinion from the team members now all the people who have an access to record or all the people who are that group they will getting the message they can give they give so it's a poll it's called quick action it's called quick action then we have question So what is it? Quick action. So what are these? Polls, questions, that link. Sharing the link for uh, documents. Then what is the other one? New event. It allows you to create an event. from the same record instead of going to the event page from the same record quick action means don't navigate to the page straight away on the same page i want to perform this action straight away on the same page i want to get an action <coughs> you know what is the people so we catch what is the other one that we have degradation of new opportunities which of new node log a call create a case create a contact all these are what quick actions all these are quick actions similarly we have posting a message people who are my team members they will be able to see so all these are what quick action posting a message sharing the files and sharing a task okay poll etc okay all these are what quick action all these are quick action what is available on the record if you don't want to see them hide the 
add the fields for the field. Now, here I am adding a topic, click add the topic. I created a topic. So when I open the record, I would I want to this to be highlighted for me so that I can have a quick idea. Now I'm creating one more record. Here also I'm creating a same topic. So I was supposed to call all these guys on Sunday. So what I can do? When I click on the topic name, all the list of records on which the same topic is there I can give. So I can get all the people whom I have to call on Sunday. Creating some topics, creating some topic on the record. So what was this? Go to the record. This is hiding and feed, hiding and unhiding the feed. Creating a topic. The same topic was on this Saturday you are supposed to call these people for review. Or you are supposed to make a call to these people to send the deal. So the topic name I have given. So when I come, I will be knowing what is the topic for the I will open it and find out the similar records. So hide, topic, pick actions, posting a message, pick actions, posting a message. What if you want to create your own pick action? All these are existing pick action. What if you want to create your own pick action? I hope you are clear with this. The basic information. Set up, build, create, Create what you are finding here. Global actions. Yeah. Global actions. All these are global actions. Global actions available for all the objects. New action. Create a record, send an email, log a file, custom visual for space, canvas, writing component, what you want. Create a record. Who's the object? Branch. Which of you want? So I created a quick action. Now when you go to this, one more global action has come. Global action. What are the global actions we have? Come back, what is that? My branch. My branch. So when you go to any page layout, When you go to page layout, you will be finding them. What was this? All these are what? All these are what? Pick action. File, new task, new contact, new case. All these are what? Pick action. Somewhere our action also will be there. All these are available for Salesforce Classic. All these are available for Lightning. Similarly, our actions will be there. What is that? What is that action? Global actions. What was the quick action we have? I did. Quick actions. <laughs> Go to these quick actions. More. What do you have? My branch. They are able to get the record. If you want to create a quick action, what you are supposed to do? Set up, build, create, global actions, global actions, I'll get one page. Just building some page. New action. We don't create a record. Similarly, so we can call to call. Not a 
updated version. Okay. So what is that? Record. What do you want to create? Candidate record. What is the record type? Russia. Then, when you say what are the fields you want for pressure? Last name, first name, mobile. Okay. Now you create an action. How you are supposed to add this action to the? How you are supposed to add these actions? Publish. Eric. Suppose go with. Add this to mobile lighting Publish it. Then go to object. Go to page layout. In the page layout, you will find actions. Quick actions. When you say quick action, you are finding pressure. Copy the pressure. Back to this. I hope you are clear. So this is a quick action. So there in the process, we told you know, quick action. You know, quick action. So the quick actions are created in this format. The next one. Okay. So let us see the next one. There are few small components which are, which are available. I will close them. So basically, how many types of automated actions are there? How many types of automated actions are there? 